kids head back to school this week and the weeks to come. Many of them probably spent a few weeks or days at camp. It's a time for making memories, having fun, and of course, learning. Yeah, recently Natalie and I decided to head to camp. This one is located in Clover, Virginia. It's called Astro Camp, and it is all about science. It was so cool from launching rockets to outdoor adventure. We tried a little bit of everything this camp offers students. Take a look. We are here at Astro Camp in Clover, Virginia, which is in Halifax County, and the 400 acres that you see behind us is all dedicated to science. That's right, so we're gonna check in with Charlie, the science guy, and see if we can learn a thing or two. One of the things that we like to do is we like to inspire our campers when it comes to rockets. Rocket science has always been one of those things that people are so excited and love to watch. And so this is an example of how we just get it kickstarted. Three, two, one. So that was an Estes almost ready to fly rocket. It's what we use to inspire the kids and it's a solid fuel rocket. The goal is ultimately for them to build their own rocket test it, learn about how to balance the rocket properly so they can get a beautiful straight shot like we just saw, and then launch it again and recover it, ultimately so they can take it home. So you imagine, you start looking at the surface of the moon, you then start looking at planets, you start looking at star clusters and galaxies, and then you move into real deep space objects like the Orion Nebula or the Horseshoe Nebula. We take what's out there and bring it right down here so that these kids can see it. Welcome to engineering. In here, kids get to take ideas from inside their head and actually print them out. The process begins by using an iPad, just as you see our instructor doing over there, and from there, they then load it up on these 3D printers at the back of the room. Some good examples of things that you can print. Now, these are all prefab files, but anything from a engine off of the Apollo rockets, the bear that's used for our D&D &D classes, or a lighthouse designed by one of our instructors over here. Sports. To my right, you can see some of our tracks. These tracks, about a mile, a little over a mile, where kids can take actual go-karts out on them. They're nine and a half horsepower uh, Honda motors on them, and they can just go, uh, push the gas, and go all the way around the track. Behind us, you can start to see some of the tracks we use for all of our dirt buggies. These are slightly larger and actually have the ability to shift, which gives you so much more you can do, whether it's on track or in the woods. All the flags we use are all active. Uh, elements and then all the cones are, of course, those are passive, so those are on track, but you don't know what they are when you see them. Second flag, flaps over, it races over, you see that. Once you see this, slow down a little bit, now it's a cool down line. There's no passing after you see a checker flag. so muddy and it was so much fun I'm it really you. was and we learned stuff we did if your kids are into science i'm telling you what astro camp is the place that they need to go and you can go online to their website it's astrocampsummerva.org mm -hmm. to learn more